Well, you know, it was a good start for our team today in, in day one. Um, you know, offensively, I thought, uh, you know, we did some really good things top to bottom in our lineup. A lot of different guys uh, contributed. Um, and Evan Challenger was, uh, was not real sharp early, but I thought gave us a gutty effort, um, you know, and, and, and settled in and, and got better as he went. You know, gave us some, some length and, and allowed us to, uh, to save the bullpen and, you know, overall a, a good start. The first three innings, you guys played a lot of small ball, but I think you guys scored three or four runs making outs or errors. Just a thought on the small ball early on in the, uh, in the game, run. I, I thought we did a really good job of executing. Uh, it, it, it's been important for us all year to, uh, to get the leadoff man on. Uh, you know, Hunter did a nice job executing a hit and run early in the game, and then we did a good job and some two strike counts with runners at third base, being, being able to put some balls in play and, and uh, you know, scratch across some runs early and, uh, you know, give Little Rock credit. They answered uh, off, off Challey, and, and then I, I thought our guys responded, you know, in a positive way. We, we didn't waste a lot of at-bats today and, uh, you know, was proud of that. Uh, questions from the student athletes only. Hunter. Uh, you're senior, you got off to a good start today, two doubles and a home run. Yeah, talk about how you felt like things went out there at the plate. Uh, today it went well. Um, I think I really just tried to work on just seeing a fastball up or seeing anything up in the zone, and I think I really just tried to stay in the legs and see the ball up. Four different players, including yourself, had three RBIs today. Just how did you all get going early with a 9 a.m. start to be able to put up 13 runs? Well, I think uh, last week we ended up playing a game at 10 a.m., so I think we, more than anybody else here, were ready for a 9 a.m. game, and uh, I think it showed that we were ready to hit. Rodney, in the middle innings, your pitcher was able to keep them off the board while you all scored, I think, six or seven runs. Just a thought on your pitcher today and being able to give you all at least throw up enough blank innings for you all to be able to get the offense going. Well, he, he's, you know, he's our guy. and, and uh, you know, one of his best attributes is he's a tremendous competitor. And he made some mistakes early, um, you know, a couple walks, hit batsmen, a uh, couple pitches with two strikes that I'm sure he'd like to take back. But uh, our, our offense answered, and, you know, he got in a nice rhythm there in, in the middle innings and, and uh, you know, really got, got going well. And, uh, you know, uh, that's just him. He's our best guy, and, and you're going to stay with him there. And, uh, you know, he settled in and, and gave us a gutty effort. I thought looking to tomorrow, knowing that if you win tomorrow, you get Friday off, only have to win one get one game on Saturday versus if you lose tomorrow and have to play Friday and all those games on Saturday. Just the thought, the importance of Thursday's game. Well, you, you obviously want to stay in the winner's bracket, and uh, you know you you want to earn that day off on Friday to, to obviously save your pitching. But yeah, you got to take it one game at a time, one pitch at a time in this thing. And uh, our guys did a pretty good job of that today. You know, hopefully we can build off that, rest up, and, and come back out and, you know, play good baseball tomorrow.